continuing the small acts um anthology series which you know we yeah. really first two mangrove and lovers rock we really enjoy them and you know yeah. I'll, I'll confess of the right like i have a, a slot i have slots basically for all five of these films right because yeah i know i'm gonna get great quality right but at the same time i have to treat these films uh, well we said it before last week um, we have to treat them as individual films and not just have them on some high pedestal because it's small acts and it's about you know the caribbean diaspora in england and it has great black actors and all that kind of stuff and steam mcqueen you know what i mean that we have to treat these films individually as they are so yes we right. will more or less give them praise but you know praise for different reasons more or less right but yeah, in this case now we have red, white, and blue. Ricardo, if you know my way to do the synopsis for this, right? So right. um big sell for this and what you know had me intrigued when he would go was John Boyega, you know, being in this, right? I was really curious to see him play, you know, um son of a you know Caribbean immigrant and whatnot. And it's team basically, you know, considering well, police, right? I do you know we we've we've touched on the police with um the mangrove story, um, not yeah. so much with, with Lovers Rock here, but yeah, here we, well, in this case, we're going to go a little deep into that world of what it is to, to be a cop, you know what I mean, and morals and all that good stuff, right? So, Ricardo, take it away. What is red, white, and blue about? Right, so it's John Boyega is playing Leroy Logan, a famous historical figure. I think it's, I don't know if he's one of the first or the first black police officer um, in London, or one of the first, one of the very rare few. And... Basically, he is a person who kind of, quote-unquote, well, downgrade in his life. You know, he had a pretty good career, you know, a PhD, he's a doctor, scientist. And, you know, he it had a little inciting incident involving his dad. Um, and he wants to just, well, change the system from within by, by trying to be a police officer. He's pretty fit. He ended up being the best of his in his candidacy um, throughout, throughout police training. And just to work it out from the beginning. And that's did the... Effectively, the first arc in his career, um, you know, his, his long legacy about that and, and how, you know, the Royal Logan is probably, yeah, like we, in history, I have to dig up the history, but he, you know, is heavily responsible for a lot of um, changes within the, the, the British police, police service um, in, the, in the late, in recent, he recently retired and they had a whole thing about that. I remember seeing it since on BBC. Um, so that's it. Uh, it's just that first opening volley of his life and career. And the family dynamics and, you know, how everyone feel and the community and all of this stuff. And his frustrations and whatnot. And that's it. Um, it's shorter than I expected. Um, yeah, it, it actually, clocks it, in about, um, it clocks in 18 minutes, actually. Yeah, it flew It flew for me, actually. I, I was like, oh, it's done already? Okay. Um, yeah, well, I, I had it in my mind just like, like Lover's Rock. Like, I know it's going to end at a certain point. So, yes, get, it, get invested yeah. in the story, but know that, yeah. As soon as you get real, real deep, it might just add a secret through, right? So yeah, yeah. Um, that's it. So I okay. So I was I wanted it to be longer, right? I was expecting a longer story, or at least I was expecting something along the lines of he was gonna get more of his life, or or but they they stop in an interesting space, and I didn't hate that. So I thought it was mostly fine for me him going in that that way with it that's it it's nothing else to say other than that it's just really really good character work family dynamic work you know the politics we could debate if they get the accents right i'm not sure because that that thing they didn't get into too much other characters or what it was about because like i thought it had a thing with the friend or i thought they would get into the courtroom another courtroom drama involving the father but they didn't do that um it just yeah, that's kind of just take it from his perspective, and that's it. Uh, nothing else to say on that. It, but it was it was still good for me. Like I didn't hate this. It was right. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I would say that at the moment, um, you know, well, we just talking about well, three films here thus far. We haven't seen the other two. Um. This feels more of the. It, this this feels like the bleakest thus far, right? Um. It's very right. angry. It's very bitter and appropriately so, in my opinion. And I know for some people, they, they probably would not enjoy this one as much as, say, Lover's Rock or, or Mangrove, you know, both of which have, you know, somewhat um, yeah. upbeat endings, right? But this one, it's, you know, just dour, right? 
Um, yeah. But to me, it works too because it yeah. just kind of shows that there is variety. This, this is that yes, this is black struggle. You know, well, except for Lovers Rock, you know, we, we, we these are fairly black struggle films, right? right. Um, but it's not like we're gonna just end on this happy lifetime note, and then you're gonna get some little, you know, uh, you know, still text with you know t- detailing what happened to the characters afterwards, right? It literally just stops at the moment, you know, gives you yeah. some time to think, um, which I really appreciate. I thought that was it wasn't bold or anything like that, but I just felt like it was appropriate. But yeah, yeah. I do imagine for some people they might just get turned off of the lack of hope in this one but you know it what it really does right. very well this kind of puts us in the shoes of uh leroy london right you sorry leroy Logan. Logan. you yeah. really do feel how it yeah. is to be yeah the sole black man in this predominantly white right. you know police force right and take it yeah well and his they, it, it, oh, sorry in his case like his his mission statement you know makes sense right it may seem a little uh, superficial, but at the same time, it makes right. sense. Like, he wants to change things for the inside. He knew he can't do anything as a civilian or at least a guy doing forensics for the police. But, hey, if I'm inside, at least I could try to, you know, do some good stuff or at least make my superiors understand that, hey, you know me, right. uh, uh, us black people are just thugs or whatnot, right? We're not just ghetto kids and whatnot. We could do more, but you really do see how the pressures of just being a police man, you know what I mean? Well, both internally and externally, just weigh down on this guy, Jared, and you really do feel sorry for him. And that's, that's really what this, yeah. this film does. It just really makes us, it puts us in his, it, it, yeah, it just makes us walk a mile in his shoes and really understand the, the, the pain and pressure that he had to go through just to, yeah, they, to make change, you know? Right. No, but they, 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 keep it, they keep it close to the chest as well. Everything is just from his perspective. They don't try to get all fancy with it or anything like that. Um, the we got the one thing about it that is the only, the only well, close, close, close unquote thing of hope is just him and he and his dad, and the dad kind of come around on, on the whole situation about yeah. him being a with, with, which I love by the way. I love that it ends on that sort of quiet, right? Thing, but it works, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, that's pretty much it for me. I, I didn't have any major um issues overall from that perspective. It was just okay, you know, the father come around. You know the 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 the, dyna- the dimension of it when he first joined that that bitterness of the father and he and you know even the friend and like him who joined the police officers you know they get into all of the Oreo coconut jokes and whatnot and they make it work in terms of like just that dimension to it that's the early years all the little bullshit things you have to worry about and then the big bullshit things you have to worry about because the the end of the film has a big thing where it's like oh shit he could have that is a super dangerous thing that could have happened. And it's because of the police and the, how, how terrible they are um, with him not getting back up. Um, that's it. They just keep it. It's a slow burn. It works in that sense. And I really I really thought we'd have, we'd have got a longer arc involving, oh, well, this is what he did and this is his life. And I was like, no, it's just to keep it like that. And I, I, I wanted it to be longer, but I didn't hate it as it is. And I, I like this as it was. That's just my last take on it. I have nothing else to say. Yeah. Because you just have to watch the rest. It's just you have all these little great little character moments, like the part where he now joined the school and your father come out. And hug him. Great scene. Oh yeah, sure. yeah that, Some, that was a great scene. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but yeah, yeah, yeah I do agree with you like, for the yeah. yeah, I do agree with you for the most part though. Um, yeah, this this could have been just a a smidge longer, or at least could have given us right. just a little bit more in terms of you know what um right. or at least yeah where his arc was going right um yeah. I mean it stops at a particular point right, but it's not like okay this is the end of everything right, but you know what I mean um the reality when it, when it hits him literally yeah it, it it does work right um I thought that John yeah, Boyega yeah. was was excellent in this um Steve Toussaint right. who plays is his dad was great um yeah yes they do have uh well I guess this is a thing with with the show here where you know it it sounds like British people talking Jamaican that kind of vibe here um there's even like one scene I... you know which, which I thought was 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 cool um this is a a lunch scene basically and they talk about um. You know, like, you know, back in Jamaica, we have jerk chicken and, you know, just the way how they talk now. It, it, well, it has that feel of that, home. Yeah. But still, ever so often, yeah. you might have that sort of, okay, you sound British, so trying to sound Jamaica. I guess that's a thing that I'll always have with this show, but, you know, with this uh, series. But um, it didn't it didn't bother me as much as, as all that. Like, I, I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> you know, get used to it in a, in a way, right? Right. Um, I Well, it was but, really just, um, it was really just the dad, the dad who was the one who had to song the most Jamaican, the dad and the mom, and yeah, his yeah. second mom, and the friend, and he had a whole thing about it, where he could have this great little um, argument, he and, I think, I couldn't follow, it was the, his ex-wife, 
or something yeah, um, like that. Yeah, it was, it was, well, yeah, yeah. Well, it's presumed that yeah, it is his ex-wife or just his second you know, wife. I'm sure what's going on. Wife here. Separate, yeah, yeah. That 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 right. back and forth had some, you know, like you yeah. felt the, the Caribbean this in the in the argument, right? Like the the quips yeah. that they would throw at each other. So that that would right, right, um, right. But I love how also like the the show itself goes into a familiar, you know, story, you know what I mean, when it comes to, you know, like crime, um, police drama, like police procedures, you know, the whole idea of, uh, what I remind me of actually is uh, Serpico, for example, right, you know, classic yeah. Pacino film. Uh, but in this case is like a rookie, you know what I mean, now going in and seeing things play out the way they are, instead of this veteran or this guy who in it for years, right? But yeah, I like that they do play to cliches of, Oh, you know me, my friend did this violent act and I have to keep it a secret and I can't tell yeah, yeah, my spirit and all that kind of stuff. They don't do that. It's just day by day, something will you yeah. know, see something, something will happen to him. And it's just yeah. how it is all uh, builds up. There's a moment where, like, <laughs> where John's character melts down, Jen, and like, I felt every yeah. seeding moment of that. Jen, I can just feel yeah, that yeah. angst just bursting out of it and it works. Uh, it really does. Yeah. I thought that the music choices were fantastic, Jen. There's, yep. there's, there's a considerable amount of Al Green use in this too, but like the, the yeah, Al Green yeah, right. songs that they chose, especially, um, well, you know, the, the, the timeless How Can You Mend a Broken Heart? Like, yeah. Just mm. the, the, the use of that in the, in the show, perfect. Loved it, right? Yeah. And yeah, just a lot of throwbacks to, well, to old music, well, from the 60s to the early 80s, cause yeah, it took a while for me to pick up on it, but yeah, it's set like in the early to mid 80s, so, like right. legit, it took me a while, I was like, wait, what, what period is this about? It's like, oh, okay, right. it's, it's this period, all right, cool, cool, cool. Right, um, I mean, it, it's, it, was, it was impressive for me as well, where you get to see, um, you know, all of these, all of these, these retro stuff, when you're, when you're going back in time, it's difficult to do from a set design standpoint, um, how accurate everything is, you know, the cars, wherever it is, and it's like, oh, okay, they, they actually nail everything. Um, yeah, yeah, wise, they did, they did. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, aesthetic wise, it does, it does look and feel like you are in, you know, in England in the 80s or whatnot. Um, I dug the yeah. cinematography once again, it's on point, direction is strong. Um, writing yeah. is, is solid throughout, right? And I love it. Well, I would say for those going in, don't go in expecting some big crime drama thing, like, there is a moment an intense moment <laughs> I mean, right. which which caught my my surprise though, but how it please don't do work for me and then there's a there's a sort of parallel to that later on it's like oh okay okay that's yeah. what they get right right so once again it's not like they, they they play it to you know oh you have to have these troops because it's a cop drama you know what I mean no it's it's really right. about right. this probably about this guy having to deal with just bleated racism in yeah. in this in his division uh, um, I know some people, just, just before I get to more rated, I know some people would be a little let down by the lack of, you know, finality in certain things, right? Like, we don't right. see how, like, okay, so case in point, there's, there's these, uh, there's these, not looted, but just basically uh, these it, yeah. Pakistani and Indian-owned restaurants that are being, uh, you know, um, Windows are being broken into, you know, spray paint, all that kind of stuff, but they don't really see what who, right. who it is that it, uh, did it, right? No, it's also, it, again, every, yeah, everything yeah, was yeah, very yeah. point of view. Everything was very point of view from the perspective because it's like he's not a detective yet, but they get into how he couldn't get, you know, the um, the job, no, well, it, the yeah, yeah. promotion. And then they had, well, his friend, um, Rajiv, I forget the character's name, um, Asif, uh, Asif, right, who is. Well, you're right, from, from, from India, right? Well, India or Pla- yeah. Pakistan, right, whatever, right? Right. Yeah. Well, it's, it, um, it's but, but how, most how like, to, it's, most, it's Pakistani here. because it's Urdu. I think oh, right, it's right, Pakistani. Right. Because... He said that um, he, he, there's he's a scene where he speaks um, Urdu. Yeah, how they connect yeah, yeah. that too to his character, would, um, in my opinion. Right. So. No, yeah, the, the thing is where they keep it, again, because they keep everything so POV now. So they had the scene where they see him coming at the end, well, close to the end, when he, he come in, he's super frustrated, and he say, good luck with this lot, and he leave. And it's like, well, you don't know what it is they do, but, you know, he, he get it in many ways worse than he, right? In some ways, right? Yeah. Yeah, the show went down. Little stuff like that. It's everything that's, you have to figure out everything from the perspective of John Boyega's character. Stuff like that. Exactly, yeah. I, really, I enjoyed that. I thought that was Yeah, good. yeah. It, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's unique or, you know. Right. Uh, revolutionary, but it's different, right? It it really yeah. goes against what you'd expect from a police procedure, and for that, it works, right? So overall, yeah. I do like that this has a different feel to how things, you know, the the previous two entries, right? Uh, it is 
bleak. It is the bleakest at the moment thus far. I'm not sure what we're gonna yeah. get with the with the other two. Um, but yeah, I think that the bleakness works though. And you know, with the, within the bleakness, there is there is heart, right? There is you know raw emotion to this story. And you will feel you will feel connected to to these characters, right? Not just John's character, but also well, the the guy yeah. who plays his dad and all that kind of stuff. You you really feel it for those guys, but it's not in a preachy kind of. Wow, you know me. The world yeah, sucks, it. man. This is what we need to do. It's not like right. that. That's not what they're going for. No, they play it. They play it. They play it much smarter in the sense of it. It's more insidious than you know the situation uh, that the other one had to deal with. That's much more insidious as it is. Uh, it's not as obvious and in blatant like like say mangrove. It's like no, this yeah. is what this is what going on now. Right? It's yeah. it's yeah. Okay, what is happening when you're inside? And it, because it's such a different time period from mangrove. Um, it's like it's almost like about fifteen years after, or so um, yeah, roughly, you know, roughly the, the, about. it goes. It, it, the, 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 the bad behavior goes underground as as it were, right? If you understand that, um, yeah, yeah. It, it I, does. Like, it's not, I like it's how they, like I like how they, I like how they play. Open, open, but you know, it's it's right. there. It still exists, right? Yeah, it plays, yeah, and it, it plays and it tracks well, um, plot wise. Um, so yeah, I dug this. It, it's pretty good. Um, I, I don't, I, I don't, nothing else to see. Just give me a reason at this point. Yeah, well, well, rating wise, I'm feeling a strong four for this one. Um, right. Strong four out of five, sorry, for this one. I, you know, I mean, if you've been enjoying the series thus far, yeah, you will enjoy this one. Just just know that you're not going to get the traditional happy ending. Well, I mean, these films haven't really given us traditional happy endings anyway, but, you know, yeah. especially with this one, with the subject matter, it is dark, it is bleak, but it makes sense for it to be like that. It will it will leave you emotion. You will feel more anger than anything else. But it works so because right. yeah, it is, you know, it, it was and still is a serious issue that yeah, we all have to face right in some way or shape or form. So yeah, last words of rating on red, white, and blue. Yeah, yeah. Um this one this one I, I liked a lot. That it's it's a slow burn. You have to appreciate it in its own quit what it's trying to do on its own. Um, but I, I dug it for what it was. I, I had very, very prob- very few problems with it. Um, as it is, I, I just wanted it to be a, wanted it to be a little longer. But I, I get why it, it ends where it ends. Um, it's just more like the arc between him and his dad, more than you know some ultimate life goal and he beating back the system. That stuff. It's just oh, he it's tough, and it sticks to the the, the central theme of small acts. You know if you know what that is that that, that Bob Marley reference. Um, that's it. You know. Right. Right. Right.